Sarah Taylor struck a vital half-century to help England book a place in the Women's World Cup final as they beat South Africa by two wickets at Bristol on Tuesday. Taylor, back in an England shirt for this tournament after a year out of the game, hit 54 off 76 balls to give England control of the match before a mini-collapse created a nail-biting finish. Yet England, set 219 to win, held the nerve to complete the second highest successful run chase in World Cup history, built on the third wicket partnership of 78 between Taylor and England captain Heather Knight. The result bodes well for England as they go in search of the first piece of silverware in eight years, having won both previous World Cups they hosted. Earlier, South Africa pair Laura Woolvart and Mignon Dupree's recorded half-centuries as they reached 6 for 218 after Captain Dane Van Nieker collected to bat first with sunny blue skies overhead. England did make an early breakthrough when Anya Shrubsole bowled Liesl Lee for 7, having had an LBW decision against the powerful opener reversed on review the previous over. But teenager Woolvart took charge and laid the foundations for South Africa's innings, scoring her fourth half-century of the tournament, which came off 81 balls and included six fours. Taylor produced a spectacular piece of wicketkeeping to remove Trisha Chetty, stumping her off a leg side wide from Nat Siver before Woolvart consolidated with Dupree's to the tune of 77 for the third wicket. Lightning Taylor pulls of sublime stumping Woolvart eventually fell to Knight Bull off the England skipper's second delivery of the match prior to new bat Marazan cap being run out by Shrubsole three balls later in the same over. Van Niekerk departed in similar fashion following quick work by Siva in the field. And then Jenny Gunn had Chloe try and caught and bowled. Dupree's, who top scored with 76 not out, and soon Lewis kept the score ticking over to ensure a challenging total was posed. South Africa, the lowest-ranked side to reach the knockout rounds of the tournament, experienced a difficult start to the second innings as they struggled with the lines. Iabong Akaka found it easier going, though, and accounted for both openers as Dupree's caught Lauren Winfield and Kaka sent Tammy Beaumont's bales flying. Taylor showed her intent straight away with the bat and looked in supreme form. Before being run out by Van Niekerk four runs after reaching her half-century. A dismissal saw England lose three wickets in 12 deliveries, as Knight pulled a full toss to Woolvart for 30 and Lewis bowled Siv around her legs on three, to bring South Africa back in the match. Mosseline Daniels then dismantled Catherine Brunt's stumps, Fran Wilson departed ramping cap, and Laura Marsh was bowled by Ishmael to leave the hosts needing two off three balls. But Shrubsole smashed her first delivery for four to win it and take England through to a sell-out Lords final against either defending. Champions Australia or India on Sunday.